Hi there, this is Rohit from Resume Guru. Firstly, thank you so much for joining in. Today, we are going to be discussing about how to make a good data engineer resume, right? So, we are going to tell you what all essential aspects are there to cover in a good data engineer resume, what all you can do to improve it, and even show walk you through a nice template which will help you understand how to make it, correct? So, let's move forward. So, who exactly is a data engineer? So in the simplest terms, a data engineer is the person who builds the systems that move and organize data so that others can actually use it, right? It's at the moment, it's one of the most in demand roles in tech, especially in data driven companies. So now that that's out of the way, now let's talk about what all essential things do you actually include in a resume? Because first of all, data engineering is a very skill driven field. In that there are a lot of hard skills that you have to show off so there should be a very heavy focus on your hard skills which includes any languages you know any coding languages you know any programs and any other hard skills data engineering hard skills that you have that you that you can show off. that is very important then second for freshers it's very important to include any relevant projects so see a lot of ways in which you can uh, you know boost your resume especially as a fresher because uh, you would not have any work experience yet so you can use any you know relevant projects that you know you can search up on the internet of how you can get a, get a data science project or data engineering project and you can add that third is quantifying your impact so quantification basically means adding numbers and metrics in terms of it could be you know numbers it could be percentages it could be anything so basically let's say you know made things efficient uh, by 10% for example so basically the work you've done for the company what all you've uh, you know achieved for the company you try to quantify it you give it give it a number to it if it's possible what that helps you do is you know you showcase your work in a more substantial manner it looks more impressive and last but not the least tailoring your resume now what does that mean so as you know job descriptions whichever you apply to they are different every time so what happens is let's say if you're using the same resume for every single job role without even tailoring it for any different uh, description you may not get as good of a result because some companies you know, require some other skill sets while others might require something else so it's very important you know that you are actually optimizing your resume for the target role that you're looking for correct so these are some essential things that you should know now let's move on to a quick guide so now let's discuss what the ideal resume length should be. Now do bear in mind that this is nothing, this is not fixed, okay? Don't take this as a fixed assumption. See, it depends from field to field. Let's say, you know, sometimes you may have more projects or something else. So your resume might be longer or it might even be shorter. So it really depends. But this is just a general guideline. So let's say you have around zero to three years of experience. If you have around zero to three years of experience, you can comfortably make a single pager resume. If you have three to seven plus three to seven years of experience, you can go with a 1.5 pager resume. And if you have more than that, you can go two pager. Don't go above two pages. That would be a general guideline because what happens is if you cross two pages, it's very difficult for a recruiter to you know actually spend the time analyzing your resume because think about it, they go through thousands of resumes nowadays for a job, right? every role you apply to they get hundreds maybe thousands of applicants especially if it's a big company do you think they're gonna read like a three four pager resume absolutely not they're not gonna read it so that's why we highly recommend so next up we'll actually show you one of the resume samples of a data engineer that we have created for one of our clients this would help you understand what a good a data engineering resume sample looks like so as you can see this is the template we use you can of course the template can vary but this is how we uh, structure the content this template is not just you know professional but it's also ATS friendly now ATS basically in the simplest terms is the uh, basically recruitment software that majority of the bigger companies mid to you know uh, bigger level com corporations use to streamline their hiring process so what happens is let's say if you're applying for a role the recruiter would not have the time to go through hundreds and hundreds of resumes but they don't also won't want to miss out on any good candidates right so they use a software known as ATS ATS scans your resume prior to it being read by a recruiter and ranks all of them so it's a ranking system okay so let's say if your resume is very suitable you're gonna get a better ranking if it's not suitable you're gonna get a worse ranking now let's go through the different sections one by one now we have the contact information section in this you know basically you get you have to put up your name uh, your title like as, as you can see we have put up data engineer as the title. so 
that and apart from that you know your contact information then we have the profile section now profile section is you can also call it a summary section Pro uh, what happens in a profile section is you give a very brief understanding of who you are as a you know professional you tell them about you know yeah so in the profile section uh, you basically give them a brief understanding of who you are you t uh, talk about your uh, basically what all key skills you have what all your proficient in and everything you can even mention how many years of experience you have in the opening then we have the skill section now this is pretty important as mentioned you have to add the right keywords in the resume so a skill section is the perfect opportunity where you can add all the relevant keywords related to your uh, basically your skill section as a data engineer now this include uh, some core aspects like risk management data security regulatory compliance etc etc and it also includes the technical skills you know what all uh, softwares programming languages and database management tools you know all of that all of this when you mention it is great for keywords it is great for ats and also a recruiter appreciate so what happens is in these first two sections from your profile to your skills the recruiter gets a pretty good idea of who you are so this makes your job easier to convince them to call you for an interview right so next let's move to the project section now one thing to keep in mind this is kind of a fresher resume that we are showing off so uh, in this there's only a project that you can see but you can also replace it with a work experience section so in a project section you t uh, tell the title of the project you give a date for when to when you uh, from when to when you worked on it and you also explain in a few bullet points what all you actually did in the project for example you know what tools and tech you used what the project did let's say built a data pipeline clean uh, clean messy data etc right so that is how you can present your project so this basically makes your makes it look a lot more attractive and it seems like you know it's something substantial and uh, one bonus trick you can use is you can even give a link if you have created if you have uploaded it on, it on github or if there's any other place where you've shared it as a resource you can uh, you know link it here so that someone can check it out this will increase your credibility right now next up are the additional information section now these are kind of like bonus sections this is mostly required for freshers because as a fresher you don't have a lot of work experience right in these sections like workshop additional activities and courses this is where you sell yourself more as a data engineer and other skill sets that you have so let's say for workshops you can highlight any hands on training or any boot camps you have attended and uh, related to data coding and additional activities in that you can include any hackathons college clubs tech events whatever you have done and finally courses courses are also pretty important in courses you can you, you can show what all skill sets you have that you have certifications for this is pretty great to once again reiterate your expertise in a particular you know skill because once again as i mentioned data engineering is very hard skill oriented you have to last but not the least is your education section now once again the uh, order of where you put the education section can vary let's say if your education is uh, the most important part of your entire profile you can put it higher up but let's say you want to focus on other things you can put it at the bottom that's totally fine right so now as you can see you can put it in this format this is easy to read for ats you put up your degree your college name and your year of graduation that's it pretty simple that's how you can put up you can skip adding your grades that's not a that's not something that's mandatory it might be mandatory for you if you're going for on campus but off campus it's not that important so as you can see overall the resume looks pretty consistent pro professional and fully ats compliant thank you so much for checking it out uh, and if you're looking to learn more about how to create a data you know data engineering resume the link to the full blog where we have mentioned everything and we have even shown of the sample in detail is in the bio and also if you're looking for our help in making such a resume for yourself you can check out our resume writing services at www.resumeguru.in uh, you can also uh, call us at this number or even send us a whatsapp message right so and we are always ready to help you we have served more than 2000 plus clients in 15 countries and uh, we can definitely help you out with your resume and if you need anything else of course if you have any doubts or anything you can also send us a message in the comments we try to reply as soon as we can thank you so much and we wish you